Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're talking about everything you need to know about self-harm. So what is self-harm? Self-harm is where a person hurts themselves on purpose. Now, I think the first misconception we need to get out there is it's not just cutting. Self-harm comes in a array of different... What's the word I'm looking for? That's not helpful. I can't think of the word that I mean. Do, 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 do. Nom, nom. <laughs> that always makes it better. There's different types of self-harm. There's cutting, burning, overdosing, swallowing objects that shouldn't be swallowed, drugs, alcohol. It's not always on arms. Personally, I've only ever self-harmed on my arms and my chest. I've never self-harmed on my legs. My legs are just hairy. <laughs> I look like a gorilla. The next misconception is it's only girls. Anybody of any age, any gender can self-harm. It's a universal thing. It's not, oh, it's, it's not cutting so it's not serious. No matter what type of self-harm it is, it, it is serious. So yeah, it's not just teenage girls. The next one I've got is it's attention seeking. Self-harm is not for attention. When you self-harm it's often some very secretive. If you do, you don't really show other people. I've had my all mine covered with tattoos and I'm getting another one there on Wednesday. Which this video is going up after then, so I've already got the tattoo. Woo. But it's a very secretive thing you do when someone self-harms. Even in the heat, people wear long sleeves. So yeah, it's not attention seeking. Please never say you're self-harming for attention. This is one thing you learn from this video. Self-harm is not. Self-harm is an addiction. The pain you feel when you self-harm, it's addictive. It makes you feel alive. I know for me, I self-harmed just to self-harm and cope with things but I also did it because I wanted to feel something I was really depressed when I was self-harming next is people enjoy self-harming self-harm is not something anybody enjoys it's very bluntly something that we do our desperation to feel something, to cope, to feel pain it's not something anyone enjoys doing one thing that you should always know about self-harm is that we're never doing it to hurt other people when we self-harm it's to hurt ourselves, punish ourselves, feel something it's often occurs after a depression or a depressive episode because you just want to feel something other than sadness it's a really hard thing to live with and deal with and it's such a secretive thing we don't want people to find out. I know for me personally, no one in my family has ever seen fresh self-harm on me because I kept it hidden or I lived on my own. But yeah, thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.